today we're going to talk a little bit about 301 redirects and how they can help your SEO. 301 redirects, you might have heard of this before, maybe you haven't. They're an important part of SEO and I'm going to give you a couple cases in which they are particularly useful. Before we go into more detail about how you use 301s, let's talk about what they are. At the most basic level, a 301 redirect is a way to redivert a web address from one to another. The 301 is basically signifying that it is a permanent redirect. There are other types of redirects that are used such as 302s, which are meant to be temporary, or 307s. But for the most part, you're usually only going to want to implement a 301. Now this can be done through a, a couple different means. Probably the easiest is on whatever web platform you are using to build your site. There is usually some type of setting for URL redirects. That's what they're called in Squarespace. And in WordPress, you can use any number of plugins to do a 301 redirect. Some of the SEO plugins use 301 redirects. I use separate redirect plugins uh, such as redirection or simple 301 redirects in order to achieve this. But basically in most cases, what it will do is rewrite a file that's on your server called the HT access file. But basically all you really need to know is when you type in a web address, the 301 redirects are used if you type in one web address, it goes to another one. And most web platforms have the ability to have this. And they might call it different things, but that's basically what it is. Use cases. There's two main use cases for 301 redirects, and that is domain-wide and then page-specific. Let's talk about the domain wide redirects first. Now this would happen when you change your domain name. We did that with our site about four years ago now. We changed the name from lockdowndesign.com to lockdownseo.com. Now the significance of that is why we have a domain level redirect, which by the way, we implement that at the domain registrar and some will let you do that, but basically any URL that had the old one, it redirects to the new one. You're redirecting that at the domain registrar level. If you have a domain, you would go in there and basically achieve that at the DNS level. It's usually under something like domain forwarding. But the real reason why you want to have that is let's say for six or seven years or 10 or 12 years, you've been collecting hyperlinks from other websites and they're pointing toward your website. Well, all that is basically signals to Google that there is some authority with your site. The more sites that you have linking to your website, and especially if they're ones that Google expects to see, like for example, social media or third-party generation, lead generation sites, or from websites that are covering news within your industry or other websites that are somehow related to your industry, those links become very valuable in Google determining whether they should push your site up the rankings or not. And so you don't want to lose those if you start with a new domain, if you change your domain name. Because essentially when you change your domain name or if you buy a new domain, that domain doesn't have anything attached to it whatsoever. And there's absolutely no record of it. It's basically uh, starting from scratch with no authority tied to it. Um, even if it's a similar domain, it's meaningless. Basically think of your domain name as a unique identifier of an entity. And Google uses that to determine authority. So just think of it like that. Domain level redirects essentially take all the link power from that old domain and then move it to the new one. Now, when you do this, you're gonna to want to implement a change of website address form in Google Search Console, and we have a video on that. Let's talk about the second type of 301 redirect, and this one is commonly used too. This is when you change URL or the web address of a page. It's for the same reason. You would want to use the domain level, but except you're using the page level. Now, this would be for several 
different reasons. Let's say you've been working on your website for 10 or 12 years and it's gotten enormously huge and there's lots of pages on there. You might have pages on your site that have internal links that pass or signify the importance of a page, but they, they pass a little bit of internal authority to pages on your site. If you have an old web address in there, maybe you changed some of the URLs on your website before, then if you don't implement a 301, then when people go to that old page and then they click on the link, it's gonna to go to a 404 page not found screen. And that's, for one, it's bad for user experience, but it also kills the link power that's distributed internally on your site from being passed around. But even more important than that, in my estimation, when you have links from outside websites, maybe you got written up in the New York Times, maybe you got a link from your local news network, maybe you had uh, some favorable reviews by an industry newspaper, and they're linking to an inner page on your on your website. But if you changed the URL at any time, you know that link power disappears if you don't use a 301 redirect. Now, there's another reason that you would want to uh, use 301 redirects. And a very important uh, thing with this is Googlebot, the user agent, the browser crawler that Google uses to go and find all the different pages on the web that end up in the Google index, which is the search results. That mechanism has an infinite memory and it will remember any web addresses or URLs that it has encountered in the past. So if you had different versions of your website, and this happens a lot now because a lot of the, the websites that have some history to them, maybe they launched in the 90s or the early 2000s or even the 2010s, they might have changed their website entirely. It might still have the same domain name, but they might have changed the way that the web addresses are done. And for example, let's say that a long time ago, Google indexed pages on your site, like yourdomain.com slash index.html or uh, slash about HTML. Now it remembers those URLs and it's gonna try and crawl them at some point. And you might even have some ancient links from a website that hasn't changed in 10 or 15 years. So you wanna capture that link power and you also don't wanna confuse Googlebot and you want any occurrences of those old uh, URLs to divert to your current pages. Now, one thing that I do when you're dealing with an older site like that to eliminate any possibility of old pages leaking out that linking power and thereby giving up site authority is to go in archive.org and look at an old version of your website. So that's the Wayback Machine, the Internet Archive. Usually you can find an old version of the site and you can kind of get an idea of what links or what the prominent pages on those websites would have been. And then you basically go and create redirects for those old pages, those ancient pages. Maybe they haven't existed in years. Google might still try and crawl them. Essentially, with 301s, they're not that difficult to implement. WordPress has tons of plugins for them. Squarespace has uh, URL redirects. Other platforms have their own version of this. They might call it 301 redirects. They might call it URL mapping or URL redirects. But basically, it's a mechanism for diverting that authority into a current site and not losing any of it not having a bad user experience because you have link rot or broken links that no longer exist. As a final tip, as a bonus, if you've made it this far in the video, and by the way, give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed everything that you've heard so far. But another bonus thing that you can do also is if you have changed your domain in the past, or if there are other versions of the site, you know, go back and, and find those and you know buy up those domains. If you've lost a domain that you had in the past, and I've seen this happen a few times where websites had a previous domain, they changed the domain, they lost track of the old one, they no longer have it. It's as simple as going and buying it if it's available, if no one else has grabbed it up, and then redirecting that to the current website. Oftentimes, I've, I've actually seen this with a few clients where if you do this, it gives it a boost like almost right away. 
in SEO because it might not have a ton of old links on that old domain, but there might be some where it's basically a broken link. And if you don't get it together, eventually those people will just say that's a dead link. And eventually when they get around to cleaning up their website, then they're, they might change that out for a different link. So it's just all the way uh, good and around. Primarily what you would wanna use 301 redirects for is your own website or older versions of your website, or redirecting old pages from your website to your new. And that is what I would recommend to be the safest and the best practice for using 301 redirects. So if you learned something from this video today, please leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what you learned from this video. I'd love to hear. And if you have a question, you can leave that in the comments below. But my name is John Locke, my business Lockdown SEO, and I'm here about once a week making videos. That's all I got for now. Until next time, peace.